Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Sunday, March the 1st, and it's now 8.29 p.m. And I wanted to put up another video for Morella because it's now the first of the month. So rent is due, and those four babies still need fed. And it was only by a miracle of the Lord that somebody could come up with food money last week or so couple weeks ago I guess to feed them for the rest of last month see it's it, it's nothing I can't say nothing because one lady gave six her last six dollars to try to help last time all right in the hopes of being blessed herself because her rent was past due well, you know, I don't know if she was or not, but um, you never know what the Lord is going to do when you do something like that. One thing I know is, like, um, Morella was telling me yesterday how she really does work. <laughs> she said, because I'm, you know, I was suggesting to her, you know, could she try to find work? Well, without the proper, like in our country, you need a green card if you're um, not a citizen. She's not a citizen of Ecuador, okay? Um, I don't know how, I guess they just let them live there, but you can't legally work there if you're not. She is stuck there. I do not know why our embassy, our embassy, won't help her come home. It's just beyond my comprehension of the injustice done to this woman. How he, her husband, her ex-husband now, took her down there for a supposed, well, she said a holiday, but they were going to... Uh, check it out to live down there and he s couldn't believe how high the food prices were they knew the housing prices were are low down there but but the clothing and the food is just like it is in America and he just punched her and took all their money but $230 now this was several years ago when her first two were little boys little like two and one okay babies and left her and came back to America and then he tried to accuse her of kidnapping and he had a friend that was a judge well she easily got out of that because she had proof he paid for the plane tickets with him on the plane. Okay, that was easy enough to prove. How, well, how did he help her kidnap his own children? Kind of stupid there. But anyway, the point is, she's stuck down there. She cannot work at a job like you and I could if you and I had... <sighs> she has a degree speaks English, could be an interpreter. She's passed out her number to people that she thought might need an interpreter, uh, different businesses that maybe could pay her. You know how people do here? They work under the table. I don't know what the fine would be or anything, but she doesn't really want to do that. Would you, if you were a Christian, and you're really not supposed to. Anyway, so she bakes cookies. And she makes like $10 a batch because of all the cost of the ingredients. Well, anyway, she's such a dear woman. And I get pictures of her and her children. And I'd love to share them with you. But the last time I made a video for Morella and put her... Uh, children on the custom thumbprint it wouldn't let me put it 
um, it, it was actually Salvador who fathered the two little ones, who was supposed to help her raise the two boys. Anyway, I'm not going to get into her whole history. I have a list on my homepage, videos about Morella, that tell a little bit more than what I've told you. But anyway, would you please consider pitching in ten dollars? I mean, twenty, ten, or twenty. If we had enough people, fifty people, you know, because a lot of people won't watch this. They don't want to give to anybody. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Our money is fixing to not be any good if you've got a nice nest egg and you're left behind. You think you're going to get to it? You think it's going to be worth anything? I hope you've got another plan. <laughs> Don't be too devastated, okay? <laughs> All right, just think about that for a minute because the way things are going... I know we won't be using cash long if, I don't know, I, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a prophetess, so I don't have a prophecy for how the money's going to go. I just see how things are going. The whole point is, let's store up our treasures in heaven, people, and just consider, okay, and if you can't give, then please pray, please pray. That God will soften the hearts or whatever. Open the wallets <laughs> of those who can. And um, let, us, let us take care of Morella as we did with Tessa. I mean, doesn't it make you feel good to know that Tessa got her power paid? And she got her, uh, her brakes fixed? The man said they wouldn't have lasted another week. She could have died in an accident when your brakes don't work. I mean, well, Morella's needs are different right now. Her, she just needs rent and grocery money for her little ones. And it's real hard to tell little ones, I'm sorry, baby, I don't have anything to feed you. I, I'll leave it at that. All right. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this, over my computer, and over your computer or your device, and over us <laughs> and your internet connection and mine. <laughs> and I just pray, I pray that you would consider understanding that Morella truly does have needs. And the situation she is in is just very unusual. And nobody else that she tried to talk to on YouTube would listen. They just deleted her comment. People with way more numbers than I have for subscribers. That could have helped. I mean, <laughs> they didn't even check her out to see if her story was true. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you, and God bless you. You all have a good night or a good day whenever you happen to listen. God bless you. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.